Hello, peoples, peoples. Today, we are going to take a look into the behind the scenes and creating a Super Mario Warm Hack. Warm Hack. Warm Hack. Like that. Um, so, if you paying attention, six months ago, you will know that I made a Super Mario World ROM hack called Super Maze World. It, it, it looks like this. You have the super long, tall, you get the super tall hill of judgment. The long hill will always follow you. Anyways, um, I just wanted to show you peoples like how you can make your own so <clears throat> um you're gonna need to like you're gonna need to get a like just a normal super mario world ignore ignore that pretend it never existed What? I I just heard something that I don't want to hear again. Okay, what the heck is that? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna search. Super. Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Mario. Oh, yes. You're gonna want to get something. You want to get to get something like this. Mm -hmm. Super Mario World. Dot. As FC, it has to have. S, it can be any other letter, and C. Like, you can only load, um, let me see, let me go to Lunar Magic. You can only load, um, SMC files and SFC files. So, this file, supermainsrule.smc, or um Super Mario World USA dot SFC. You're gonna wanna load like you can like what I'm doing right now, I'm loading a already made ROM hack, which is an MS SMC, yeah. And the original game is an SFC. So <clears throat> you can see here this is the first level and um this is the map. Like, you go here, you get all the exits. Go to the castle, beat the castle, do everything else, blah, blah, blah. You get to the final level. <clears throat> hmm. Few shots. Yep, okay. So, um. <laughs> First, you're wanna gonna get get wanna. All right, Super Mario World Central SMW. You're gonna wanna go here, and you're gonna wanna go to um. Tools or online tools. Okay. I don't know. I think it's tools. Clips. Yep. You're gonna wanna go to the latest version of Lunar Magic. 
Right now for me it's 3.40. And then um how did you do all that? Um it's essential, as you can see. It's literally the base for absolutely everything. <clears throat> so, after you've installed this and you've got your file in, um, let me load up a brand new one. You're gonna, it's gonna look like this. Um, this purple thing probably won't be there, but just ignore it. And yeah, I, 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 what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Um, put in here. Oh yes, this. I did something to the freaking. Yeah. <laughs> I did change this palette, change the palette seven. Yeah, you, you can just do that. Like, if I wanted to make, actually, wait, let me, let me just change it back to what it was. What was it? Two. There we go, it's back in on it. Phew, thank goodness. Like, if I wanted to transform this world into ice, I can just go to palette zero. I can just turn everything in the palette zero. Turn this all palette zero. Turn every single tile piece. Like, and I mean every single one. Into palette zero. Yep. Like this, 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 this. So on. I don't know if you like saying this. At least, like, like a million, billion, billion times. You're just gonna want to select everything and turn it into palette zero. There go. Where is it? Why is things already palette two when I know it? Please copy it. Here. No. Oh, it's this. Ooh. Bam. Now let's put the bushes. Palette zero. Now this looks nice. This could be. This could be something like transform everything in the palette two. Oh yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> but there's a downside to Lunar Magic. With most of the other letter level editors you get to play and see what it would feel like. With Lunar Magic you have to make the changes, and you have to go through like a million step process. If you even want a chance of reviewing it. <laughs> well, not a chance, but you, you're, you're gonna review it, but it's just... It's gonna be a bit... Okay, so this video is actually gonna be two parts. Um, actually no, it's probably gonna be a lot of parts, so... Um, I don't, I don't want to see that. Okay. Anyways, um, if you ever want to know, like, what, no, seriously, what, okay, apparently my overworld editor has not opened into copy overworld, what other? What now? Okay, I'm probably just gonna have to. Okay. Oh my gosh, I need to go to the bathroom. Hmm. Did I just forget how? <laughs> Did I just forget how to do this? Yes. Okay. If you're closing it out, you should probably close it out, cause like, for me, the save button isn't working. 
press yes, it's going to do it like at most in one second. Wait, no, I'm going to want to open this. Oh, no, it's broken. Yeah, I don't know how to. What? Hmm. Okay, I'm. I. Uh, 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 what? Oh. Hmm. It's different. It's different. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to figure this out. Why? Okay. I think I'm literally gonna have to look this up. Okay, you know, I, think I, just, I, I don't know. I don't know what it did. Sorry. Right. Um. I'm gonna have to delete it. Like a file. Mario. Not Mario. Well, Mario. Yeah, I'm gonna have to delete it. Skip. Skip. Alright, so. Why? Why, hell yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Still not What? Alright. I'm gonna have to reload it. So, if you want to get one point, it's Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Shadow Glow. No, I don't want to freaking run. I want to try a lot. Nintendo Free Time of Garden. Okay, I'll borrow it for a month now. Click to begin. What? Hey! What do you mean? I'm trying to download it. Free download. I'm trying to download it. I'm trying to download it. I'm trying to download it. Why do you want me to read? Um, please, let me down. No. What? Huh? Um. Super Mario. Yeah. Super Mario. Oh, no, wait. It, it, Super Mario World. Where is it? Where did I put it? Okay. I have to get down much. Get down much. Get down much. Get down much. Yay. Alright, now that you know that you found a way, if you search this, actually, I actually feel like this particular link is going to be in the description. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's great. Okay. Alright. Oh, Okay. Now you've got it. Extracted. That's not what I mean. I never knew what I meant. I never knew. I never knew. I never knew. That's it. We're almost right there. Nice. You have, you have this. And you also, wait, what? Huh? Huh? Alright, you want to. Let me just go in. Down in. Let me go up to the blah, blah, blah. Yes, please. Okay. Now you actually have a game. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's going to look like this. Hopefully. And you get it. If if not, then I don't know. You kind of you kind of screwed up. Kind of you kind of ding dong screwed up. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Yeah, in a sec. Oops. Now that you've done all that, you want to go change the overworld. Now, don't you? Now, don't you? Well, good thing for you, this... It seems pretty hard with all of these, but... Oh, wait, I just realized I haven't even explained to you anything at the top here. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now. I have no idea what half the things do myself. So, I'm just going to show you the important things. If I can make a ROM with only half of knowing, only knowing half the bar, you only need to know half the bar. If you want to learn the other half, then just go... Some shady website for looking for to you. If you give him, if you give him a million dollars, they definitely will. Um, so this, these are the three buttons. Um, you're on. You're not gonna use this button that much, cause I, I, I have no idea what this does. You you just press it. You 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 just that that's all all you do. Here, let me just look. Same. It it's it's literally just this, but it is it, it's, it's just a button. It's the freaking button. And there's the shell. There's the ground, and there's the shell. Can you guess what they do? 
You got negative one seconds. All right. The ground lets you go from here. You can. All right. So if I try to insert like an enemy or like a sprite of any sorts while I'm in the ground mode, I just, I, 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 I can't. It's impossible. But if I try to add some ground, you can see, I just put some note blocks on a freaking cloud. And now it's flying around. And now it's expanding. What the heck? Um, this just controls what you can add. Like, for the ground, you can only add ground. For the shell, you can only add... It's, I don't know why it's a shell, not like a Yoshi. And why this is... Why aren't they just the same? Eh. Okay, you know what? I'll just... These two things, this and this, one of them is more important than the other, and it's this one that's more important, because you can just... You can do what I did. You can, like, you can change the power... And, like, if I change, if I change this tile in particular to pellet 6, it is now glowing. Now, what else is normally glowing? What is glowing? What is shining? What is shiny? Yes, this okay. Also, coins normally. Yeah, coins. It's normally pellet that. This is pellet seven. You got. It's freaking. You have, a, you have a cool. You have a cool. Uh, cool, weird, barf looking coin. <laughs> now you have an. And I have a green coin. The P coins are now green. Here, um, you can also just move it, and you can watch as panic ensues. Yeah, we just watch as panic ensues. Like, look, the entire background is now a net. But don't do that. Like, don't don't turn the mole into the background. Don't turn the mole into the background. Okay, just leave it where it is. Please, but like, leave it where it is. It does not need to be tampered with. Do not. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens if you change a palette, like, randomly. You get something that looks like that. And you don't want that, so just keep it all the same palette, and it will look fine. Like, let me just show you what you can do. Instead of this being like that, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's water now. It's now water. It's water. And, and now... Now the background is water. Yeah, you you can you can control every single look in the game with uh, this. I don't really like this in general. Like you can you can you can you can do a few things, but I honestly have no idea what that does. Anyways, the background editor. You can probably already guess what this does. Um. So. You right click to copy. So for this background, I'm I'm gonna add a thousand clouds. And you know after you do that, also. After you do that, you 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 pr always press the file. You always press it. After you do that, you can see the background is now filled with clouds, like it should be. 
So that's what the background already does. So this, this is layer three. You can do this if you want, but why would you want to do that? This is the power window. This like you can you 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 okay so this is this one with my mouse pointer that i'm touching we can see the palette color is six four neg negative sixty four and six four negative one hundred that or is that just six four sixty four say in six four one hundred See all these values at the bottom, but then you can't. Um, um, each palette has its own like types, kinda. Like you can see that this ground is not like these two things. You can see the ground. It's not the same color as the bush, but they're still the same palette. That's because each palette has different um shades. So this palette, it's palette six. This one, it's also palette six. But you can see they're all palette six. The first number is the palette they're in. You can all see that this entire row is palette six. And, but the second number is the type of shade. There can be, hmm, you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, or 18, so about around 17 different shades in each palette. At most. As you can see, that. You can see that, like, for every palette, there's a there's a lot of blank ones. Like, um, here I put my computer. For palette, uh, let's say palette five. Palette five, you can see it has all this blank space. That it's just the unused shades. You have the shades if you need them. Like in palette eight, palette eight is using all of these shades and as you can see all of the palettes have something in common this black line that's shade zero and this actually no you can see very closely if you look there's a tiny split but for the most part this line is the same Like, the only thing you do is, like, change the color. But, but that's the palette explained for you. And this is the zoom, of course. This view animation. I, I... Also, all of these mushrooms, I have no idea what the mushrooms are. Um, open chain. These... Are also just kind of just weird, but these these doors they're they're important. They are very important. The first one, modify screen exits. <clears throat> so um, let's go see. Mm. Let's go Let's see. Mm. So, as you can see, this says secondary entrance 1CB. Um, what that means is, um, a secondary entrance is like if you go into a subworld and you come back in. 
And in this case, Mario is flying out of a pipe. Um, but the only way he can actually teleport through the subworlds is because of the entrances and exits that are set. So, and every secondary entrance or like and secondary entrance or secondary exit has a code. So this one would be one C B. You can you can actually hmm what is it? Oh yeah. You can go into file and press open level number. These codes these codes don't actually just mean random numbers. If you open level number Oh yes, yes, save level. Um open level number one C B. But no not one C B B. You can see you can you go in here and then come out. Actually I kinda wanna press this button. Cause we get something that you couldn't see before. So actually let's go back to level 105 and let's just take a look. So they're not actually Okay, the map 16 data didn't save. So that sucks. I mean whatever. Um you can see that each of these screens are separated into like numbers. So the first screen is zero zero, the second screen is zero one, second sc the third screen is zero two, and so on and so on. The reasons for these screens is that um first I must give you some context. So if we go into this, add objects, you can see there are Two of these pipes, both both of them say vert. They say vertical pipe end on top, and the same thing is here, but they have different descriptions. The first one, a vertical pipe object that can have various styles. It's just a normal pipe that you can't interact with, but the second one it has with exit enabled. Exit enabled mean you means you that you can go down it into like a subworld, like level one CB, for example. So you can see um there's a difference between um let's uh, example there's a difference between this pipe and this pipe. You can't go down this pipe. You can go down this pipe. So, you might have a question. Why do we enable the screens? It's like, like, pretty much randomly. Because, like, why is 7 enabled? So, as you, so, also, if this pipe was exit enabled, you could go down either of these pipes and go to level 1 CB because each screen can have an exit. If there's an exit enabled pipe in screen 7, which there is, this pipe, you can go down it. It says exit to level blank. The reason I say blank is because it could be any level. In the entire level verse, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna call it the level verse. Um, exit to level one CB, and the reason these levels have codes is so that you can sort them if you need. To. If they all had the same name, then you would have absolutely no idea where to go to if you wanted to change a sub area. So now that we figured out what it is. Let's go back to level 1C. And now, this is the entrance to level 1CB. Mario goes down. 
and he does all of his parkour. And then, as we can see, the only way to also, and all, um, the only way to check if a hype is exit enabled is holding your mouse cursor over it. And if it says this is an exit enabled pipe, then you then you know it's an exit enabled pipe, and you can go in it, up it, around it, into the level verse and beyond. Um. And you can go to also also the different between the difference between an exit and a secondary exit is that a secondary exit is a sub area to a level and an exit is a level to a sub area. So as you can see, this is a secondary exit, but you might have noticed something. It has two numbers. 1 CB and 105. These numbers, what do they mean? So the first number is actually the secondary exit code. Each secondary exit has its own code for what I'm assuming to be the same reason why levels have their own names because you don't want to get confused between two secondary exits. But why can't you just leave it at that? Why can't we just get rid of the 2105? The reason is, I don't know. Anyways, um, to the level that we're going back to. And if we go back to level 105, actually, now I know. It's because the the creator wants to know where to go to figure out like where they're gonna go into and and where they're gonna go out to. Um you might be saying, Well why can't you just enter a pipe in this level, go into the sub area, go into a pipe in the sub area, and be transported to an entirely different level? You can literally just do that. I think I even did it in Super Maze World. No, I don't think I did it in Super Maze World. Because if you do that, then everything kind of just messes up. It's kind of weird. Also, another thing you can do is you can take a secondary entr entrance into another sub area. Like, you can have two sub areas in one. Can you believe it? It's sub level mania. Um, anyways, secondary exit 1CB. This is what happens when you go in that pipe, you're underground, and you go back up. So, that's kind of the whole exit system. But, um, I don't want to talk about this. Um, I don't want to talk about this either. But, scan level for undefined exits. So, also, the exits don't just appear. You're going to want to have to go into, let's say, this level destination or secondary exit number. If I change this to 1CD, it transports to level 1CD. I'm not going to save this because I don't want to. But let's just go to level 1CD. This is totally not what I was expecting when I changed the letter by two changes. I, I, I changed one letter by two letters. And we instantly went to, I, I think this is Bowser's Castle. We instantly went to Bowser's Castle. Really? Weird. Actually, no, I'm doing the wrong thing. Let's go back to level 105, and, yep, still says 1CB. To add it, you have to go to the plus and minus door thing, and if you want to, so let's say there's, a, there's nothing in 9, 
level destination 1 VD. If we add it, it doesn't complain to us yet. But every time you add an exit, you have to press this. Or else, or else there's a pretty high chance that you're going to have a pipe that leads to absolutely nowhere. A.K.A. what I call no zone. It's pretty much just... It's like the game you get for getting 100 points. Except you're trapped there forever. And ever. But, what that, but, you actually don't get yelled at for adding an unwanted exit. Like, if there's no exit enable pipe, then you can't go there, because you can't enter something that doesn't exist. And you can press clear screen to get rid of it. But, if we go to screen 7 and clear the screen, and you press it, Following screens have exit enabled objects that lead to level zero. If you do not set an exit destination or remove the exit enabled object in these screens, the player could get entrapped into an endless bonus game when attempting to enter the exit enabled pipe. Or door you placed. Yeah. So it yells at you if there's not a necessary exit in with an exit enabled pipe. Or door in it. So I'm not gonna save this by the way. Um, I'm gonna do something else with my. Um, no, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's tutorial. Yep. Yeah. Um, we haven't made any changes yet, but next episode we are. Do we make? Actually, no, we did make a change with the background, but that doesn't really count because it, it, it's 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 the background. It's not to. So <gasps> he changed the background. Oh my goodness! He give him a million dollars. He deserved it. Yay! <laughs> It's not that important that you change the background, but um, I'm not gonna leave this uh, this screen unattended, so I'm just gonna seven. It's one CB. If we look, there it is. If we do the scan, then it's fine. You save all the prom. Yeah. Yep. And that is going to be it for today's video. Oh my god, it's 45 minutes.